Welcome back to Dan's Messy Garage. This is going to be part four of putting the 200 cubic inch six cylinder engine back together. Okay, today we're going to put the lifters in the engine. I just dropped my magnet. I have a, a magnet that I'm going to use to put the lifters in the engine because they're way down inside there. You just can't put them in with your fingers. So I got the lifter. I'm going to make sure I put a lot of uh, assembly lube on the bottom of it so it rests on the cam. Get that lined up. And drop her down in there. Easier said than done. Okay, there's one. Get lifter number two. Wipe it off good. Put the cam lube on. Ah. Come on, I just closed this thing and now it doesn't want to open. Okay. All right, so put some on the side good gob on the bottom because I want to make sure that that stays lubricated okay drop this down in its spot all right number three it's going to be a rinse and repeat all the way through to the end I don't think I'm going to bore you watching me do all 12 of them all the same now these are the same order that they were in the engine when i pulled it apart all right i'll bring you back once i get to the next step okay it's time to put the cylinder head on First thing you want to do, get a brand new or very, very clean microfiber towel. Get some cleaner. I'm using uh, Brake Clean right now. And clean the area of the cylinder, or block, I mean, where the head gasket is going to go on. Use a microfiber so you don't get lint. If you use paper towel, you can get some trapped lint and you don't want that. You want this very clean and very smooth with no debris. Now the gasket I'm using is a Felpro number 7916PT1. Now it says right on here, No retorque apprentice seal, that's the brand. Use no sealer. Felpro. And you want to make sure that this gasket is very clean also with no uh, fuzz or debris, dirt. This feels good. Now this gasket really only goes on one way i mean if you try to put it on let's say upside down it doesn't fit because the holes don't line up so it only goes on one way okay let's make sure this is clean make sure this is clean drop that down on there now what's strange is this six cylinder block doesn't have those alignment dowels that help you locate the head correctly. I guess it's not that critical on a six cylinder. All right, off camera here. Well, I guess I can spin you around. Got the cylinder head here and I'm gonna clean 
this surface again. I already did this a little, little while ago, but now that I'm going to drop it on the car. I want to make sure that there's, that's clean. Another thing you want to do before you put a head on anything, make sure you don't have any leftover parts in there or nuts and bolts or tools. The engine's not going to turn once put the head on it's going to get locked up by whatever's in the cylinder all right so let me grab this heavy head see if i can get it over there without dropping it and we'll plop her down trying to figure out how to grab the thing That's a heavy bugger. Okay. Now, I'm going to find the head bolts. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my head bolts. When I found them, they were greasy, rusty, nasty, disgusting. I cleaned a lot of stuff in the ultrasonic cleaner, but I failed to do the bolts. So I stuck them in the ultrasonic cleaner um, with some rust remover, simple green see, uh, a concoction that I used before. And it cleaned all the bolts up just fine. And I dried them off and coated them with oil. I'm going to drop them in there. I have uh, some ARP bolt lube on the cylinder head where the bolt would rest so it gets uh, more even torque or less friction or something like that with science. Okay, let's go this one. I looked up the torque spec. According to Ford, 45, 55, 75 foot pounds. Three stages. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You start in the center, work your way out, kind of like in a spiral. So once I get all these in, I get my torque wrench these are 11 16 heads by the way and why am i missing a head bolt how in the heck can that be okay i'm gonna pause you guys while i find the missing bolt okay crisis averted i found a bolt it's over there in my tray. All right. I cleaned it up, oiled it, it's in. I'm just going to use this to thread them in. That's uh, good enough. Okay, so now 55, 65, 75. Got this set at 55. So here we go.
All right, so now we go to 65. All right, seventy five, seventy five. Here we go. Not really moving much. As long as they all move the same amount each setting you know the bolts are going in even and with the same torque is okay I'm just gonna go give them a double click There you have it. One six cylinder head installed in real time, torqued, ready to go. On to the next part. Next, I'm gonna install the push rods. Now, when I took them out, I numbered them all, so they're going back in their same spot. I do have an adjustable valve train, but still, I wanted to keep them in order. Now here's a little trick or tidbit of information. If you want to see if, if they're warped or bent, you just put them on something and roll them. And if they roll without flopping around and wobbling, they're not bent. And none of these are bent. So what I'm going to do is put a gob of that assembly lube on the bottoms and on the top in this cupped area on each one drop them in and then i have to put on the uh rocker assembly let me grab the push rods and go them up and drop them in there Try to keep them in order since they're already in order. Okay. I'm going to have to do that off camera here. Put a gob of stuff on here. You could probably just use oil, but I'm using an engine assembly lube. Taking longer than I thought it would, but oh well. Let's 
where it is in this messy garage. Okay. All right, they got some goo on the ends. Let me uh get up here. Drop them in place. Make sure they go right down on top of each lifter. Now I took all the lifters. Well, there goes my air compressor. Let that thing stop running. Starting to say I took all lifters apart, kept everything in separate containers, and cleaned them all in the ultrasonic cleaner. So every part of the lifter inside is clean. I did not put oil in them on purpose when I put it together because I want to be able to set the preload easily see if I push down you can probably see that's all the spring in the side of the lifter and the preload I'm going to set is going to be uh, three quarters of a turn or to one turn three quarters of one turn past the zero lash I'll get to that when I do it but let me put in a uh, Seems like that compressor is running a long time. Put in a little assembly loop. There we go. It just stopped. This assembly loop's got a hole in the bottom and it's squeezing out of that too. So, one, one, one. This is a thick, black, sticky substance. I mean, it reminds me of the ARP bolt lube that I put under all the head bolts. This is a CRC Stay Lube Engine Assembly Lube. You can see I mix and match different products, putting things together. Kind of do that on purpose just to get you guys get your panties up in a wad start complaining about how you should mix and match like i said in other videos you you do you you do what you want to do when you build your engine because i certainly do what i want to do when i build an engine i built many engines folks all right, that looks good. Okay, so now I gotta go find the rocker assembly.